Hello friends, how you doing? So I have a subscriber question uh, that I want to run through very quickly. Uh, but before I do that, do me a favor, I don't do this enough. If you've been watching these videos and you've seen two or three, do me just a huge favor and hit that subscribe button. It really does help. It's kind of my daily motivation to keep doing these videos. Uh, it's not always easy, so if you've been watching a couple of videos and you haven't yet subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. It would be greatly appreciated. If you happen to like these videos, go ahead and hit that like brother like button. As Graham Stephan says, it helps the YouTube algorithm. I don't even know what that is, but heck, if he does, I'll say it too. And then most importantly, what I enjoy are comments. Uh, and specifically, as you'll see in this video, if you have a question about real estate investing, if you have a question about what I am doing, go ahead and just leave your question. I'm a one-man show. Uh, I try to spend a couple hours a day in the mornings uh, before the day gets going, uh, understanding what's going on. And if you have a question, uh, I will go through that. And what I'm going to do now is look at my computer screen and just read you the question and then go through it. So it says, can you make a video about your thought process and how you pick finishes, how you, do, uh, how you choose paint, uh, materials, appliances, room design, etc.? My wife and I keep wondering what you mean by two paint, two tone paint as a side note. So uh, let's talk about the last part first. So when I'm doing my walkthroughs, and if you haven't seen them, I, I actually have a playlist on, on them. Uh, I often talk about as I go through, I, I, I guess I don't make it clear. I try to show the walls or some architectural details. And I often say, hey, look, we've done two tone paint. And what I mean by that is the paint itself is not two tone. What I'm saying is when you're looking at the walls, you see two different paint colors. So in general, uh, my walls are darker, darker than the trim. Uh, we, use a, we use a gray uh, for the walls. And then like the baseboards, and maybe if there's some architectural detail in some of these older houses, like a thin rail, like maybe where the couch would sit or something, uh, we call that out with a second paint color. So when I say two-tone paint, I'm not referring to an individual paint. I'm referring to two different paint colors calling out accents in the room. So that's what I mean by that one. Uh, so second, how do I go about picking finishes? Um, you know, basically what I did as I was going through this is the first or second project I picked up, I worked with a designer and I basically said, hey, these are going to be rental properties. Um, I want to think about the landlord first. So I want, um, you know, things that are going to last more than one or two tenant turnovers. <clears throat> if you've been following me for a while or you read our book, you know that tenant turnover is often what creates negative cash flow uh, and could hurt a month, if not a year, if not done um, cheaply enough. So that's the first thing. And so what do I mean by that? Uh, so we put in laminate flooring uh, through most of the living space, right? The bedrooms will be the only ones that get carpet because, again, tenants kind of revolt if they don't have uh, carpet on their feet in the morning. Uh, but not always. Sometimes we'll just do laminate throughout if the configuration just lends itself that way. But in general, think laminate uh, in the living spaces. Think tile in kitchen and bath. Again, where there is water, we are trying to, again, um, put in fixtures once that will last multiple turns. And tile does better. So that's what we do. And then bedrooms get carpet. Uh, as far as the carpet goes, uh, I basically plan for it to be taken out each time a tenant leaves, uh, hoping we get the average turnover in an apartment of two years and a house of five years. Uh, so it doesn't really matter. We don't get the cheapest. We get kind of one up. We do put in a slightly nicer pad. Um, but again, the rooms are 10 by 10, 10 by 12, 8 by 10, right? So these are small, <coughs> sometimes even remnants. But that's what we do. Uh, as far as appliances go, uh, I don't want any extras, right? I don't want water water filters and ice makers and garbage disposals and uh, dishwashers uh, in my units. I've done that in the past, and um, I don't know why, but it, in my experience, even garbage disposals uh, can pr can create lots and lots of service calls when people put in eggs or bones or or whatever. Uh, so I no longer put those in my units, right? I do put in a stove and I do put in a fridge. I put in new versus used. Uh, I think the cost difference is uh, not all that much. Uh, and again, I'm not putting in stainless steel. I'm not putting in, you know, I'm putting in generally white units. 
Uh, if for some reason a stainless steel unit happened to be on the sale the same day for the same price, sure. Uh, but that's not what I'm going for, right? I'm going for functional um, over some, you know, I'm not living there, right? That's that's the other thing, right? These are, these are rentals. Uh, I'm thinking of the landlord who's going to buy it. So think of repairs and keeping those low. Um, and also um, think functional uh, and think less service calls. So no water filters, no ice makers, no garbage disposals, no dishwashers. Uh, room designs. Really, when you think about room designs, uh, the only thing I really think about is, is if we're adding a wall and a closet to create a third bedroom, because maybe you shouldn't have a family room and a living room next to the dining room, which I've seen in some layouts. Um, you know, those are, that's it. And then you just have to follow the, the rules, right? <laughs> Excuse me. There must be something in this room that makes me sneeze. Anyways, uh, so again, back to the room design. Uh, I think I think it's 80 square feet plus the closet plus egress, meaning a window to exit in case of fire. Uh, but check your your city and your town for that. It might be 100 feet. Um, but anyway, so that's that's what we're looking for. Uh, I don't overthink it. Uh, I think a lot of people, new investors, think they want they want to go nicer um, when they're putting in fixtures and, and things of that nature. Um, that is often a mistake. Even down to the lights. Right, uh, you see in lots of our units because Fresno gets hot. We put in ceiling fans, um, but again, we don't put in top of the line or even midline. Right, we put in functional, uh, you know, ceiling fans, and that's what we're trying to do. Uh, because again, if we have to replace the ceiling fan and we want it to be sixty, eighty, a hundred dollars, not two hundred dollars, uh, so that's what we think about. Uh, we think uh, again, the whole goal is um, being cheap for the landlords and functional for the tenants. Uh, and then lastly, once once I did this kind of design, um, I just repeat it everywhere. Uh, I'm not in the business of trying to create one design for this house and one design for that house. I want it to be the same every time. Uh, so that just speeds up the process. You can buy a little bit more in bulk. You can take your leftovers from one project to the next. So uh, I don't, uh, if it works, I don't. I don't change it. So hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully um, that helps you and your wife um, move along. All right. Have fun. Take care.